Hi there, this is Amanda Hill from the Social Media Cafe. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get your stranded inventory returned to you. So let's go and take a look. There are many reasons why items go into stranded. Often the brand has registered with Amazon to wholesale to them and they'll do a sweep of their GS1 database and then they'll translate that into a sweep of the site and you might end up with an intellectual property issue. If you've got a letter from the brand, great, upload that. If you haven't, you're either going to need to get one or get the items returned. Now, your inventory will show in several places, but quite often it's just on the front. So log in and you'll see you've got X amount of units stranded. So when you click through to do fix stranded inventory, you'll find what it is and what you need to do. It's probable you're going to have to pull it back. So let's just click through and see what you need to do. Now, all of these are showing that there's an IP issue and I need to appeal all of them. It's very frustrating when this happens, but if you have a letter, you should be able to get it overturned. Sadly, not always. If it's for a GS1 issue, you're going to need to find the products. So click all of the ones that you want to do and then create a removal order. Now it is going to charge you to do this and they will come from all over the place to you. So if it's not worth the effort, you might prefer to pay for them to be disposed of. Now be by clicking on find out more, it will show you more about that. If you put a removal order, you will know what is coming back. It is exceptionally frustrating when you have to do this. And I've had to do it for varying, let's just say, less than kind sellers who have deliberately changed listings when others have been on them and customers are now complaining. Whatever reason you have to pull your inventory back, this is how you do it and where you do it and get it sent back to you. Hopefully that's been helpful to you.